Have you been trying to conceive for so long? Has it been months or years, even visits to the fertility clinic yet still not pregnant? Well, I'm here to share some information that I feel I should need to be screaming from the rooftops. Some three things that I know are not getting discussed in the fertility doctor's offices, yet three things that I 100% believe are related to and affecting men and women's fertility. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified every time I release a video. Um, my mission is to release videos on fertility, uh, getting you pregnant, but talking about the things that I feel are not getting discussed in the fertility industry and urgently need to be addressed. So the majority of the fertility industry focuses on the physical body, uh, whether it's a fertility doctor or a fertility, fertility homeopath or an acupuncturist, a lot of the focus is always on the physical body. So what happens when you've done all of that stuff? What happens when nothing has changed yet you've changed your diet you've changed your lifestyle you've re reduced your stress or you've improved your sleep so i believe that there's three other pillars that we really need to discuss when it comes to trying to conceive the first one is your emotional pillar now if you believe that emotions can affect your body for example if you're watching a show and someone sings an incredible ballad that moves you and you get goosebumps those goosebumps are indicative of an emotion that you felt in your body. So the emotion of feeling joy or love or overwhelm created those goosebumps on your skin. Or somebody walks past you in a mall or at your desk at work and there's just something about their energy that freaks you out or grosses you out and you get those goosebumps on the back of your neck like Ugh. That, again, is an emotion affecting your physical body. So if emotions can affect our physical bodies, we can think something and it will have a physical reaction. We are, as we're explaining now, on our skin. Surely emotions can affect our internal bodies as well. So surely emotions of fear can affect your fertility. So perhaps you're scared. Perhaps you're scared of birthing a child. Perhaps you're scared of the actual motherhood journey. Perhaps you don't believe that your body can conceive a child or pregnancy has freaked you out because you've perhaps had three or four miscarriages. Now you have fear sitting in places that fear doesn't belong. Fear shouldn't be a part of this journey and fear can potentially hold the body back from getting you to your child. So the emotional pillar is something we have to discuss when trying to help couples conceive. The second pillar is our neural programming and the thoughts associated to falling pregnant. How, what do you think? What are your belief systems? Are they limiting or are they abundant and open? Perhaps you've been told your whole life that your mom nearly died giving birth to you. What kind of neural programming is that putting into the subconscious mind? Your subconscious mind is going baby equals near death. I'm not going there. Remember, our subconscious minds are designed to protect us. It's called the survival brain. So if it alerts or expects or sees, foresees fear, it's not going to allow us to, to go there. So potentially shifting some neural programming or some belief systems in your brain can get us over the line and get us to our babies. So our emotional pillar and our mental pillar are incredibly important when it comes to trying to optimize a couple's fertility and get them to their baby. What has been the most unhelpful advice that you've been given on this journey so far? The thing that's really ticked you off the most always comes from someone who hasn't struggled to have a baby. I remember so clearly one of my friends saying to me, you guys just need to go, and go to Mauritius, just go on a holiday and just chill out. You clearly haven't tried to have a baby, have you? Thanks for the advice. The third pillar that no one talks about in the fertility journey is the intuitive space within a mother and a father's heart. That intuition or that flame that's on in your body, in your heart, in your mind, that wants a child. I always say our intuition is our connection to our unborn child. 
and we are not taught in our society to, to connect to it we're not taught to believe it so much of this fertility journey is based on what's going wrong rather than listening to that inner voice of this is what i want this is where i'm going so if if we look at fertility in a bigger light in a deeper light in a more whole light we see that it's more than just the physical body we have to address the mind the emotions and the soul the spirit the intuition as part of a couple's journey towards um, their baby now everything i've said today is very important for both mother and father uh, so often the moms or the women are doing so much of this work. Um, please share this information with your partner. So many men I work with are st struggling with fear. They are scared of being fathers or they don't believe that they have the ability to give their wives this gift that they want so badly or their partners this gift they want so badly. So please talk about this. There are, there's more than just what we eat and how we move our bodies. Um, there's also so much more than egg quality, uh, AMH, sperm analysis. There's so much more to this fertility journey than, than that physical stuff. So let's talk about it and let's shift it, let's unblock and let's get you to your baby. So if this is you, if you've been struggling to conceive and some of this stuff is resonating with you, please reach out. I'd love to, to connect. Uh, if you haven't already, Download my free ebook below, which will help you identify a emotional block um, sitting in a quadrant using a tool that I've designed. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that bell so you are notified every time I release a video on the things that no one's talking about in the fertility space.